My name is Santi, I'm 29 out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is Financial Audit. So what do you do for a living in Albuquerque? Um, I have a mobile detailing business. Oh, okay, so you're a business owner. Yes, sir. And that's your full-time thing? Yep, mobile detailing. So going, I, if I'm not mistaken, that's going through and cleaning cars, making them look all pretty on the inside? Yeah, so really mobile detailing is like a very thorough cleaning mm -hmm. of your vehicle inside and out. Um, there's a few different types of detailers out there, but really that's oh. what we do. We come in, take brushes to the vents and the cracks and crevices and clean and everything dusted down. Um, Dude, that's sick. How long have you been doing it? Uh, I launched my business in June of last year. Okay. So a year, just over yeah. a year. How has it been? Interesting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, very, um, I finally got some bookkeeping help and was in preparation for, well, I, I was going to do it anyways, but it came through okay. just in, in, in time for this to get a P and L for the first time. Uh -huh. Um, which if, if you want a little later or whenever we can go yeah. through that, cause well, I think that's me. important uh, last year, the first yeah. six months. So I've only looked at the P and L specifically at like last year and then like this, this year calendar so year. Yeah. Um, last year I was negative, I think like three or 4,000. Um, this year at this moment, um, I guess like, that explains all the debt, but go ahead. um, was that the debt is honestly like from before that. Oh, geez. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, okay. um, this year I'm up like 13, 14,000. So I I'll have to live on. No, but, uh, that's what I'm figuring out. Trying to get through that. And, and I anticipate this work will really help give me some clarity. Um, have you been and, picking, uh, how many hours a week do you work this job? Um, in the field, I mean, I'm, it's, it's all total, I do. Total work, total work. Yeah. What do you do? How many hours a week? Um, let's see. Let's guess. Like probably like 80 hours a week, Oh, but that's not all detailing. No. So that's detailing. How much of that is detailing? Probably about five days a week, anywhere from four. How many hours a week? That's, let's see, four, five. I'm going to average like, let's say six, seven hours. So let's say six a and day? a half. So it's six. So it's good. Yeah. So a day, five days a week. Two of my days, one is uh, coaching. and Coaching? Coaching what? Uh, business coaching. Didn't you just say it took a day? Okay. So so that's what one day, one day is reserved for that. But it's an this, hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not only that. So like the whole morning is like content creation or working on the content business. Content creation? Yes, sir. Okay. What's that? Is that a different job or is that for this business? No, it's for the business. So, what content are you creating? Uh, mostly reels. And then also like, Real, so I try Instagram to do my, and stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll link his in the description then. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my reels and then also e my email marketing and um, I've been doing some blogs and stuff as well um, for the post. So it's all, all the work that I do is for the business oh, yeah. and business related. Do you have more business than you can take on? Not at the moment. So. Okay, good. Are you, are you for the area, where's your pricing in terms of the overall competitive industry and the lowest to the highest where are you um probably like high mid if you're detailing six hours a day and you're in the high mid this doesn't sound like a business that's gonna make it not to just be negative but mm -hmm. if, if thir what did you say thirteen thousand dollars this year so far we're that's, almost in q4 yeah and well that's that's um that's net so like the business is done yeah, yeah, over yeah. 26, oh, even $26,000 and uh, three quarters yeah. basically, but that's six hours a day, let's five days a week. Yeah. Let's pretend it was just a normal eight hour day. That's not going to make the gap to a livable income mm -hmm. or a successful business. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to figure it out Yeah, because I want you to obviously do well yeah and i'm trying to be very realistic which is sometimes can sound kind of pessimistic how does this business go to making you a living that i am not seeing my my current plan is to go harder on marketing and advertising um and so trying to generate more so i did some quick math so an average detail i can expect about 350 and so i figured if i do that five days a week and I do, so excuse me, if I do two, two a day, five days a week, and I just assume just a 50 hour work, uh, 50 week, uh, year, I think it's like 175 if I did the math correctly. Um, so it would be an average of $700 a day, five days a week. Uh, how many hours again a day? I'm sorry. Um, well, so if, if I do this, if I, so my goal is to book out 
five days a week, two jobs that I can anticipate being anywhere from like eight to 10 hours. And I can anticipate doing about 700 a day. How many days are you doing? How much a day are you doing right now? At the moment, um, probably on average, like one a day, five days a week. No, no, no. 700 a day. How much in terms of dollar amount now? Um, I can't think of the average right now off the top of my head, um, but probably like 250 to 300. So like, for example, my last job I did um, yeah. was like 400, but that's also assuming some days that I don't have, have any jobs. No, that's 65,000 hours a year, five days a week, $250 a day. You're at 20 and we're three quarters in. Correct. Um, and so that's, my assessment is based off of what I've been doing maybe over the past like six weeks um, where I've seen a lot more growth and development in my skills and abilities to fulfill services. Um, I participate in some networking groups as well that are Good. like the referral based. Sure. Um, and so I started one, I want to say maybe like five weeks ago. And then another one I started about three, four weeks ago. Me assuming the numbers that you gave me is like me putting a bet on a single stock, penny stock. I don't know. I, I can't just assume that. Historically, again, you were negative last year and we're up. I mean, you've walked away with 13,000 this year so far. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. But given that I'm building a business and like really working on myself in this business, I foresee it like developing over time. I just want to good with risk and taking businesses. We just, there's things to do before then we have a fully funded emergency fund. We don't have any yeah. bad debt. We haven't even touched this endless stack of bad debt. Yeah. This is bad credit card debt. Yes. So is it the right time to start a business that doesn't make any money? I don't know. Like, okay. Why not? For example, work for a detailing company, get paid, Soak up the job experience, understanding what it's like to run the business and what they've done and all the successful things. Then eventually, after some non-compete ends, start yours. Mm -hmm. Well, again, you're going off a trend line, but your trend line is down right now. June, July, August is down. Like mm -hmm. June was a peak. Great, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was March, April, May, June, July, August. So if we're going off the trend line, we're headed in the down direction. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh. Maybe um, I'm banking a little bit Your too much. Aren't on, low. We're just not bringing in money. Yeah. Yeah. And I know it's not much to go off of, especially, right? Like we see the trends going up and down and new business and figuring things out. Um, so debt minimum monthly payment. I'm surprised you're even like making payments. How, what's your living situation right now? I need to know. Uh, I bought my house in 2019. Oh, you own a house. Well, I got a mortgage on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And that right so now is about 1200 bucks a month. Wait, um, you mentioned to me beforehand, oh, this would make so much more sense for a living. I was like, how is this dude paying to exist? You mentioned that your girlfriend contributes a lot. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Because math was not mathing. Yeah. How long have you been with your girlfriend? Uh, about six and a half years now. Is marriage in the future? Yeah. Well, and, and that's what we both plan and, and, and move forward or towards oh. as well. Oh, buddy. Okay. What is she taking care of? At the moment, she covers the majority of the utilities. Um, I've been up until this point paying the internet, which is like 45 bucks. Yeah. Um, we have this, well, there's not a document on it, but I do have uh, food stamps, EBT, which I think is about, I think it's like 290 a month. So we use that. You do. She doesn't, right? Correct. Yeah. Cause she makes $50,000 a year. Correct. I think you told me before. Okay. Yeah. And so she also covers, uh, the groceries that are in excess of that. And then majority of the time, if we like go out with her family or something like that, she covers it or we'll, um, split it. But so those are those things. And then some of the like, but you take care of your rent or the mortgage completely. I am. Yes. So I cover all of how all have of you been debts. able to afford it? Because again, the math is a math. Thirteen thousand dollars a year doesn't even cover your. Uh, what's your mortgage? Uh, Twelve hundred, and technically there's there's two because I got it on a first time home buyer. Uh, so I got yeah. the 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 regular mortgage, and then also they financed the down payment. So you would have had two thousand one hundred 
$2,200 left this year outside of your mortgage payments. I, I don't know. You have to tell me something. Yeah. What um, is not adding up? Because <laughs> something is just, something. This is and I'm confused and it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Honestly. Where's the numbers? Honestly, I'm not too sure. I just been. Well, so there I had I had a part time job early this year um, at AutoZone. So I was making a couple bucks there, but okay. not a lot. And then we got robbed a second time. No, you didn't make a couple dollars. What's the minimum wage in New Mexico? I think at the time it was like 12 something an hour. Okay, so you're making $12 an hour, not a couple bucks. Yeah. Um, and so that helps that helped cover, especially the early part of the year, because I had like only three jobs between December and January. Um, and then I got robbed. Three detailing jobs? Yeah. Yes, sir. And um, we got robbed. yeah, we got robbed. The store got robbed and I was working um, what, twice. What? The second time they pulled a gun on me and I was like, that's, that's, that's probably good for me. I, I, I get that. <laughs> no, if I had that in business too, but then I would go get another job and not just not have another job because there's debt. Well, let's talk about the debt. Let's, yeah. Oh my gosh. What would you give yourself? Score zero out of 10 hammer, uh, your, your score. Uh, zero. Santee financial score. Yeah. I'd like to take a brief moment and thank today's video sponsor, Vora. Vora is an exciting investment platform that is changing how to grow your money. It's essentially the first ever automated robo advisor that rewards you for investing and saving. Vora matches 1% of every dollar you invest. No caps, no limits. It's like getting 1% cash back for every dollar you put in. And it doesn't stop there. Every month you make a deposit, you get a chance to win in their sweepstakes. If you win, the prize money goes directly into your Vora account. For those who feel overwhelmed with investing, Vora can make it simple for you as well. This investment app will handle everything and automate your investments in a risk adverse portfolio. With Vora, you can gift investments to your friends and family. This can give them a head start on their financial journey or it can get you some help in jumpstarting your own. And by using my promo code HAMMER, 23 after you deposit $25 or more you will get an additional free $10 bonus right away and that's why I love this it's just free money and after you create your account you can get an additional $25 for each friend you refer using your unique referral code so use code hammer 23 and get a $10 bonus when you sign up for Vora using my link in the description below yeah I don't know I just been super I guess scrappy and and every month has been very close to Paycheck to paycheck, you know, I mean, like I'll get a maybe a couple grand in the bank account and then between um, either softwares or like, you know, the mortgage and things like that and, and paying the the minimum payments on on all these debts. Um, it's like just making it by the skin of my teeth. Oh, and before we go into this debt, make my day better. Hit that subscribe button. 750,000 subscribers. That's what we're trying to get to. And thank you to everyone who has so far. I really appreciate it. We have a freedom card. Yeah, this is giving you a bunch of freedom. Freedom of owing 5000 The balance of this one went up. So, yeah, no. Sh okay, math is making more sense now because you can't afford life. So, you just put it all on a card that's already basically maxed. Yeah? Is that what's happening, essentially? Mm, not really. But mm. there is. So, I've over the past couple of months, I've resulted to as much as I can. Um only pay for things either cash or my with my debit card um and um they're what are you talking about you purchased 278 dollars on this thing even though you only made 163 dollar uh payment towards it plus an additional 122 dollars of interest charged on it by the way fun fact yeah it's bad so go on telling me about the thing that was incorrect um I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'd love to go through the statement to point them out. I think on this one, there is one thing that I've maintained on a credit card, which is... Your Nest subscription. Is it a Nest subscription? Oh, that is Nest. Did you go purchase a that, No, it's a, it's a subscription. It's annual? A annual, yeah. Then an annual Amazon Prime subscription as well. Get those off there, man. Yeah. $122 of interest. You've lost $1,000 of interest on this card so far this year. The interest rate is basically 30% rounded up. Yeah. We can't have things on here. This is a card that's f***ing you. $5,037. Balance went up. It's basically maxed out. The minimum monthly payment on here is $172, which, I mean, you can't even afford that, and this is just one of the debts. Mm -hmm. Now we have an Amazon card, mm -hmm. which is funny. I probably would have put my Prime purchase on there, but whatever. I went from 9,462 to 9,391, but you made much bigger of a payment, 342. But guess what? We still purchased $58 and then $213 of interest on it. Oy. So 9,391. The largeness of that number didn't even hit me until right now. Mm -hmm. 
Jeez, it's probably because I'm hungry. Okay, three hundred seven dollars is a see monthly can, basis. You can't can... afford this. Correct. Uh, Audible, you don't need that. No, and I, I something did just defense. It. USCCA Delta Defense. Yeah, so that's one thing that I made sure that I was going to maintain, kind of no matter what. It's a it's a membership for legal support in the case of a self defense situation, um, and this I don't know if what maybe does that mean? We, if someone attacks you, you get yeah. So lawyer? fundamentally, what it is if if you're if you find yourself in a case of self defense, they have lawyers that will come to support your case. And then it's also backed um, like with financial for, for like legal fees and stuff like that. $1,500 of interest loss on this card so far. Basically again, 38%. It was like 28%. Harbor Freight money rewards. You know, this is a 0% interest thing. Yeah. So 12, like. 12 equal payments. Um, Starting when? June. Yeah. And so I, I've made my first payment this month. Of? Uh, it should be on there. I think it's, it's 88 not. bucks. Um, I have it right here. I think it's $88 a month. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, good. That's fine. I'm okay with the 0% financing. Again, not 100% sure for you because you just haven't managed that well. But for people that can, 0% financing is fine because you just invest the rest. And obviously, 8% of the general stock market return is a bigger number than 0%. So... It's fine as long as it's managed, but, mm -hmm. you know. And like I was mentioning a little bit before, this uh, this debt pretty much, I think basically my downward spiral for debt came about when I, after I bought my house. At really? the time, At the time I was bartending and I was making like 60, 65 a year um, and like no responsibilities. You know what I mean? It's like my girlfriend was the only other <laughs> like response. Oh, and my, and my, my dog. Um, like I don't have like a specific thing, like this is how I got this much debt. It was more so just like maybe like stress spending and like kind of giving up a little bit. Um, How'd you give up? Um, I think it was just like some stress. You could maybe call it depression or something like that. And it was just being, just being completely irresponsible. I think at the time it was like, oh, I got money, money's coming in. Like it's, it's good. I wasn't being, uh, very thoughtful or looking into the future. Yeah. Cause you've racked up more credit card debt than I've seen in a very long time. And you're only 29. Mm -hmm. uh, at least this card, you made a minimum monthly payment of $959 on, but it only took it from a balance of 8,834 to a balance of 8,788 because there was $213.16 of interest that accrued mm -hmm. on this card sitting at a lovely 28.24% interest rate. And this year so far, we've lost $1,600 on it. For those keeping track at home, that's going to take us to, what are the different cards? You had 1,000, I think. $4,100 in interest you've lost this year so far. You've brought home $13,000 from your business make that nine now uh with some credit union new senda mm -hmm. we have a balance of 328 that's all so uh yeah what's this for what is this that was when i was like early on building my credit well sorry the i was explaining what the line of credit was but that was a, a vet bill so I pulled from my line of credit oh. to pay the vet bill. And Is there a minimum monthly payment or you just have to pay it whenever? Uh, Late minimum charge monthly assessed. Yeah. yeah, because you're missing payments. Five. Go on. Um, I was just going to say you're about get ready to, to yell at me. <laughs> um, yeah, that one, I just completely forgot about it. Um, like I knew I had it out, but I spaced getting in there to make the minimum payment. And it hit and it took like on my credit score, I think it took like a 50 point hit. Um, but I would say that's the one and only derogatory mark I have. 75 minimum monthly balance. And this is at a 14%, 14.5% interest rate. So we haven't seen a interest rate that wasn't like death except for that 0%. Wells Fargo something. Oh my gosh, dude, it doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. Wells Fargo, everyone's favorite bank. 
$7,179 is currently owed. 58 cents. Okay. Dude, so much credit card debt. This is an absolute insanity. $225,000 payments, $2.43 of purchases. Looks like you went and got some taquitos at Shell Oil. And $160 of interest was accrued. Lovely. 25.24% interest rate, and you've lost $1,209 on that. So that brings us to a lovely $5,300 of interest lost this year so far. Mm-hmm. I and that card, it's... real quick, before I move to pass, just because I wanted you to have some of the context too, is I. This is why you say not everybody's credit card people, and you getting are. a ah. transfer is not the best thing for everyone. That was a transfer when I was I was living in Arizona um, for for work at the time. I was making like forty three a month, but I had my rent there, which was a thousand bucks, and my mortgage at home, which was twelve hundred. I had some tenants. Um, but they were only paying me like 800 bucks. Um, my, my, uh, some important people to me. So I wasn't charging them what would be an effective, like, uh, rent rate at the time. So it was 800 bucks. So that was 800 bucks for that. So, but I was still paying that's at least four to like 1400 bucks and like just housing expenses during okay. that, during that time. And so I opened this card with the hopes of transferring it over and then, um, making progress on it then you didn't and then you just racked up the past card again probably yeah and so it was That's it was just surviving so many people say not to yeah i ended up just surviving and i think the biggest thing was i didn't have actually a, a plan um and so i was just still trying to like survive and that landed up on the on the cards now this was your new owner's thing so was this you financing a part of the down payment what was this specifically yeah. Yeah. So the, the structure of the program I qualified for, and I wasn't like too, too well aware of exactly what was going on. Not that I necessarily feel like I was taking advantage of, but just the way it, it is, is that, um, I got the mortgage and then there was a reduced down payment to like 3% mm -hmm. in new, new home buyer. And then the yeah, yeah. other program that I got was this basically the other financing. Program? Yep. So you finance the other 3%. Yeah. Which was like oh, 70. That's so, bad. that's so bad. I want everyone to get into a home. I want you to get in a home. I want you to get into a home. Well, actually, well, technically you can't afford it because you don't make any money. You're kind of relying on the girlfriend and then you're relying on under the other debt. So it doesn't make sense for you to have purchased this anyway, but having equity in a home is important and there's ways to get there. We don't need to rush into it. It's hard for many people in many cities. Don't get me wrong. It's not a one size fits all, but this is, you did not need to do it because it's not a very expensive house. Either way, six thousand six hundred seventy-five is the current principal with a ten-dollar punt payment. It's gonna take forever. I pay like forty, just under forty-five bucks oh, a month. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, interest thirty-three dollars forty-four, forty-four total. Yeah, because all of it's gone to interest for now. Forty-four dollars twenty-five cents. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. At a six percent interest rate, you know. Yeah. Then here's the mortgage. What is this home worth today? Do you know? Last I checked, I think on like uh, Rocket Money, it throws out like expected values. I think I saw like two thirty. Really? Well, I did. I, not that I think that, but the last time I checked, we have a mortgage of one thirty eight two nine two, with a monthly payment of one thousand one hundred seventy five. That's what's rough for you because it does include my money. escrow and my insurance yeah. and all that as well. Mm -hmm. At a four point five percent interest rate, and we like that. We like that, which is why I want you. So I'm immediately, there's things going through my head right now. It's like, okay, if you want to fully focus on this business, fully focus on it, and you don't really make that much money, but you think you're going to get to a place of money, but we need to get rid of this debt because you can't afford it. So you're just building more and more debt right now. And it just doesn't make sense. The situation is not mathing. A way to clear the debt is to sell the house. You have that chunk of, what, what did you say it's worth? Uh, 230 based off of uh, Rocket. After fees and everything, maybe walk away with $75,000, do this, pay you know, pay for that, have a little bit of an emergency fund. Yeah. Pay off all the debts, have a little bit of an emergency fund that you can sustain yourself while you build the business and you and your girlfriend rent for a bit. That sucks though. Cause you're locked in at a 4.5% interest rate. Who knows when or ever, if we'll see those again, you know, probably at some point historically, but it could take a very long time. Like you're in a rate that I like, and I would rather you just have this forever and just minimum monthly payments until it's paid off. But I feel like you're not willing to do what's necessary to pay off the debt other than sell the house. I don't even know if you're willing to do that. But because what's about to be necessary to pay off the debt is you spending less time in your 
business and spending more time actually making money for a other business that makes money, you know? Yeah. Because you have to pay off the debt. You have that as a responsibility. Yeah. And so I'd, let, I'd like to let you know, it's something that I certainly have considered and would like to do. Like to um, do? Yeah. But my, so our current situation, me and my partner, we've had the conversation. Selling the house is at the moment, not quite an option. Go on. We just don't, aren't looking to sell, sell the house. Um, you just said you would like to. Yeah, but as a... So why is it not an option? Well, because it's not just my own uh, opinion. Actually, it is. You own the house. Uh, she doesn't have... She doesn't pay for it. It's a, I don't care. Wait, I don't give a shit. I'm sorry. I don't care. Yeah. What? Does she know how bad your debt is? Uh, I believe so. I, I'll just jump ahead right away. I don't think she's going to approve. Well... It's not her choice. This is not... This is not up to her. Yeah. I would like to be clear too, like with moving, moving forward. I know this situation is dire. Um, Do you? Yeah. That's why, that's why I came here to, to get some advice. And I would like, I just want to be honest with you as well. So we can work out a, Go a good plan. Um, selling the house is certainly a consideration. You literally but, said you want to, but well, because it's going to be a joint decision, and she's why? not for it. Why is it a joint decision? I'm sorry, but why? You guys are not married. She has nothing legally to this house. Why does she even care about the house? Um, you guys can rent and get a house together when you guys are married. I want you guys to have a house. I want you guys to have an amazing future together. One, she has no say in this, uh, like legally speaking. Right. Honestly, even morally, kind of, to a certain extent. And you guys will be in a house, better house, even in the future. Yeah. This, this, there's no logic right now. I agree. Um, it's just a joint decision. And I would love to maybe at some point also look at some other options. I just have to come no, better okay. prepared to tell no, no, her no. what a plan is. Okay. If we're going to, if we're going to make that change. Um, no, it's it fine. You're be... right. This was the easy change. So now comes the new change where you're going to have to do a ton of work. More work than you've ever dreamed of in your life. More work than you've ever pictured in your life mm -hmm. to get out of the debt. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the avenue where we can wipe it today, get rid of an interest rate that I love and I want you to have. The alternative is about that. This is about to suck, to be very clear. And if that's the route you choose, that's the route you choose. Checking out has 318 in it. That's obviously terrifyingly small for someone that has a mortgage and a bunch of other stuff. And for some reason, when we make absolutely no money and we can't afford our bills and everything's going, we're building more debt. We're for some reason doing uh, Twisters and Chick Fil A, and why are you paying for detail? This, so this is the business account. So the these are so even meals still, and for even the still, team pack some lunch. Yeah, team. You I have, have a couple guys help me every once in a while. That doesn't make sense, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I know I'm coming across pretty aggressive, but I just need to be very clear. That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Let, let me just talk about my business for a second uh, in terms of this. When it first started, okay, uh, I edited, I scheduled, and I filmed basically myself. There was a person who $25 an hour for a couple hours a week uh, pushed start and play on the cameras. Mm -hmm. That was it. I did 99% of the business myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. When the business expanded to a point where I knew I could fully focus on scheduling and filming myself, I hired an editor and he took over the position of starting and stopping the cameras as well. Okay. When I expanded to a point where I knew it could be more focused, uh, every position could be more focused if I brought on a producer to help with the scheduling. I did that, mm -hmm. but that's through the growth of the business. Yeah, dude, you don't make any money with the business. You cannot have other guys. You got when, when you are starting up a business, a true business. And I know that I got incredibly blessed because you all are amazing. Let's be completely honest. Like truly, including you, who's a member of the audience, like I'm beyond blessed and absolutely grateful. Like I've become incredibly fortunate, but the reality for the vast majority of businesses, man, it's going to be you doing the long hours, putting mm -hmm. in 80 hours a week, 90 hours a week, you know, barely getting any sleep, you putting in the grind, you do not have the ability to bring on the extra help right now, even if it's an extra $10 a day or something. Mm -hmm. You just can't. Yeah, I agree. And this was me trying to test that and figure that out. Um, when did you test it? Sorry? When was the test? Um, they came on or like middle of June. And um, they're high schoolers. They're going back to their senior year. Um, so one of them still comes and helps out on the weekends occasionally. Nope. But 
Yeah, I, I, I agree. So currently my, my focus is in line with, well, I'm trying to get better. Like basically what you just described as well is just 99% of what I've done so far has been by myself. And so at the moment, um, I was looking to potentially hire and I've canceled any uh, plans on that, or I'm trying to move my focus to leveraging things that don't cost money, but yeah. cost my time, um, in order to like grow the business. So that's why I'm doing like social media content, like the reels and stuff like that to have a presence there. Um, yeah, which the, even that I'm like, okay, but go ahead. Um, but there are things that still cost like, um, MailChimp for my email marketing. That's like 20 bucks, which a is month. totally fine. I didn't even highlight because that completely makes sense. But does Jimmy's cafe, does Waterburger, does the Ketos, does, I don't know what Twisters is, but does it? Burritos. Um, okay. Then no, yeah. it doesn't. <laughs> no. Does Chick-fil-A, does Twisters again, does coffee, does what's rust is gold. That's a coffee spot. Okay. So coffee, coffee, uh, taquitos, some taquitos, golden crow, water burger, uh, the Rust is Gold again, and the Donut Place, and Jim's Cafe, Sonic Drive Through, Amazon, Amazon, Ross Stores, Auto Bright. That was just a big bill. I didn't know what that was. Uh, that's uh, they they manufacture auto detailing products there. Okay, so that's um, where I. That's a business this. thing. Jobber also didn't know what that was. Is that you posting jobs? No, it's uh, it's my CRM, and so um, my entire customer journey is facilitated yeah. through there and you it should is, ha you should have a crm i don't need to i don't know if you i know there's cheaper crms you can have for a business that doesn't make money though and that's not even expensive for a crm you just don't make money yeah you just you manually do the customer journey yourself and then you pay for like a 30 dollar emailing service mm -hmm. you know it's like you just you don't you don't right now have the ability to outsource things you really don't mm -hmm. and i get it this is different if you had so many bookings every single day that you did not have time to do the other things then yes absolutely we outsource it that's where it mathematically makes sense and you need to do it mm -hmm. you just told me you work six hours five days a week detailing so we don't do this. I'm sorry, we don't. Jim's Cafe, we certainly don't do it. Taking $263 off for ATM, who knows? Amazon, Arby's, Arby's, some taquitos, and then a $10 monthly service fee, by the way, for using this. So everyone's favorite bank, Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. Did we really need to eat out every other day and get coffee and taquitos? Is no. that a necessary business expense when we're making $13,000 a year? No. No. I will say that Jimmy's Cafe is where one of my meetings are. And not that this excuses me. They meet there. The, yeah. They meet at your house. They meet at a park. And I, I've decided to not purchase lunch there anymore because I looked over like across of a, a month and it was like 150 bucks that I'd spent there. And I was mm -hmm. like, all right, like I'm just not going to order lunch there anymore. And of course you can write off a lot of stuff and it deducts the overall profits of what's brought home. But really nothing's being broken, brought home. It doesn't really make sense in this situation. Mm-hmm. 292 in your personal check-in. Again, scary when there's a mortgage. Yep. We have Spotify. We have Taquitos. That, uh, a lot of that uh, the coffee and uh, ATM $600 out. Who knows where that went? Wingstop. Taquitos. 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 Unless you're just getting like $4 gas, but I really don't think so. On the business account, yes. Because I'll get like a gallon of gas for my generator. <laughs> um, plenty okay. of time. So like, and the personal jogging, the personal, no, that's, mm. that's taquitos. Some dropout thing and shot app Coors Hooters, $50 of Hooters, by the way, it's expensive. Those yeah. are some expensive tatas. <sighs> Mikuachina. Mik Michoacana. Michoacana. Okay. Um, yeah. that's taquitos basically. It's technically ice cream, but oh. yeah, I was insane. We went, we went and saw how much it was and we haven't really gone back. Speedway and tickets to tickets to something. Wow. Who knows? Tickets. It's, Can I see that? Buddy, I'm, I'm just, I'm, just I'm kind of upset at your life because I feel like I almost care about your situation more than you do because you have five cents in savings and I wouldn't use the Wells Fargo for savings anyway. I, yeah. Cause you get percentage yield of. 0.61 where you get 4.5 and so far, but we have, what was that? Five cents again in there. If we have five cents, are we really getting taquitos and eating out every day? If you combine them across the, your personal checking account and business checking account, basically every day we are having, we're just doing some mm -hmm. ally 80 cents. All right. Great. Robin hood, $0. Uh, and then it says five cents in this one. 
So lovely. People always ask me, what high yield savings account do I use for my own money? Some of you know by now, it's SoFi. I love them. It's great for my checking account needs. It's great for my high yield savings account needs. And right now I'm getting 4.5% interest on my monies. I love that rate on my monies. So if you want to get a great rate like that on your monies, just check out the link in the description below. I have a paid affiliate link there. You can get bonuses all the way up to $250. And I took advantage of that and you should too. Because I was kind of survive, trying to think. Because obviously the money, the math doesn't make sense. Yeah, so that's where I got some of that. And uh, I think it was last year. How much year, did you sell that? I think it was like three grand that I had in there. Um, and then another kicker, um, I had pulled my 401k, which was like 12 grand, mostly Roth. Um, no. So I pulled geez. I pulled that to survive 12, you said? Bit. Yeah. I didn't even process that for a second because I'm just trying to even think how to get you out of debt and I just got distracted. And Oh, my gosh. That's terrible. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Continue. Um, yeah. So I pulled those um, in order to, to survive and, and keep doing things in the business um, and keep moving forward there. Is that all your debt? Have we gone through all the debt? Yes. I don't have any car debts. Um, That's good. And I don't, I don't have anything else financed. The, the big thing, well, obviously the, the largest thing is the mortgage. Um, but Which was how the, much again? Uh, I'm sorry. Actually, I have it right here. Yeah. It is like 1175. Then electricity is 350, mm-hmm. which is expensive. Especially now in the, in the summertime because we've got the central air. What about the rest of the utilities? Internet is currently 45 bucks a month mm-hmm. and I'm covering that. The electricity. Oh, she covers the rest of that stuff. Yeah, the electricity she's covering. She is. Uh, Completely. 350? Mm-hmm. All hers? Yeah. Good. And then also the water and the gas. Um, what are you covering? I just need to know what ju- you cover. Just the internet. Which is again? 45. Uh, your insurance is for your car and or cars currently, um, I think it's like two fifty. What are you doing for health insurance? Um, I have a Medicaid at the moment. Yeah. And yeah. And I know you get food stamps. How much does that qualify a month? I think it's like two eighty. That's your groceries, man. I'm not allowing you to spend, spend a single cent over that. Yeah. So I'm not even putting in here a grocery budget. That That is your grocery budget. 217, that's your insurance? Okay. Mm-hmm. Health insurance, okay. Government program. You know you're being subsidized, right, to essentially run this business in a mathematical way in terms of the food Oh, yeah, to, the to be able to... Health sell. insurance through the tax. Yeah, and I got that because bef- right before I started... so. Like I mentioned earlier, I was in Arizona for a little while and I had like my mortgage and rent. Um, and um, when I came back, I was bartending and then, and that was like the typical, like two bucks an hour if you make over so many tips or whatever. Yeah. So like struggling. And then I picked up, I was No, but uh, the tips, on, if the, well, it's not just. It, it still wasn't that much. I know, but it still gets you to like 12 or 13 hours an hour. And that's how. They get you down to the two dollars. Yeah, exactly. Tip. So yeah. you're still making oh, at least ahead, minimum sorry. wage. Yeah, correct. And then I was doing, I was working on cars, uh, like mechanic work. Mm-hmm. Um, that was all cash. Um, and then I changed to a different bar, anticipating making more money, but we were overstaffed, so I was going sent home early a lot of times, um, and still again just like struggling, and basically still being out like net negative. So that's when I was like. All right, I'm going to do, I'd already been dabbling with like detailing a little bit, um, low enough barrier entry to get started. Um, and I'd always, my vision in life since I was really little, like middle school is to be self-reliant. And for me, what that means is I have the abilities and the skills to generate resources and opportunities for myself. But you've gotten further from that than you've ever been because while you're in this debt with no savings, you're further than, than you've ever been in your life. Mm Mm-hmm. And so I'm, I'm working really, really hard over the past, you know, year and a half. And I can cont- intend to continue to work really, really hard at figuring out how to do that. And so like, for example, detailing, I do, I do enjoy detailing. Um, but 
I don't detail because I want to detail. I detail because I want to learn how to build good business. Uh Um, And so that's really where my focus is, is learning to develop the skills. Your focus should be paying off debt, dude. I'm sorry. Well, you have all this. It doesn't make sense. Your credit card debts are insane. It's, I'm, I don't want to be, I hate right now the fact that, I mean, I love entrepreneurship. I love that idea. I hate that I have to talk against it right now. It just doesn't make sense in your situation. Mm -hmm. Your minimum monthly payments are $944, not including your mortgage. Mm. $944.25. Again, after your mortgage and after that, that's more money than you've made all year. So it doesn't, it's no surprise you're going further into debt. Or we just can't even barely make payments and we had a late fee on one of them. Yeah, that was a major just slip of the mind. Terrible mistake, but I won't let that happen again. It wasn't, it, it, that didn't happen because I didn't have the funds. It happened because I was being an idiot and didn't pay attention. So because of girlfriend who gets no say in this, we're keeping the house no matter what. Currently, yes. If, if okay. I will certainly talk with her and look at some potential options, but well, that's all I need. And I, like, and I, yeah, okay. Um, because and, the new alternative, I mean, uh, what's required to live? You basically need a thousand three hundred dollars or two thousand three hundred dollars on a monthly basis. You don't bring that in. I mean, again, for example, uh, the last nine months, thousand four hundred forty-four dollars average. So. I'm sorry. That was a thousand. That's the average of what I've been bringing home over from the what? business itself. Over how long? This year so far. On average, okay. up months, down months. Again, the trend went. Yeah. So, I really don't know what else to do other than work your detail as much as you can, the actual physical, and then a little bit of the extra work on the side. Besides that, you're just gonna have to go get another job and work forty hours a week doing anything mm-hmm. you talked about going to water burger in new mexico which is out there apparently and even eating water burger today cool go be a manager of water burger work some night shifts mm-hmm. be tired only have a few hours to sleep which is what i feel like right now by the way but <laughs> be tired in embrace the struggle because you've already gotten into this debt of it's like thirty thousand. yeah credit card high interest 30 percent death yeah debt so it's really the only alternative because I can't lay out a plan for you. The only thing is right now, yeah, work as much detail as you can, but every single second of your life that you're not doing that and not resting and not preparing of making your own food, you're working. You, you There's no choice. If you're not going to sell the house, you wipe this. You have some money you can set in a savings account, which you can use towards the future down payment, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but it, it helps you maintain and survive while you're trying to build this business which I personally support that one because I think you care more about the business than you care about this house. It's yeah. Maybe, right. It's yeah, what you want I mean, to be your future. Yeah. 100%. So I would sell the house and do that. I don't want to get rid of the 4.5% interest rate more than anyone else, but it's just like, if this, if that's your focus, then let's focus on it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Cause either way, without doing that, you're taking time away from your business because you're going to have to take at least 40 hours a week away because I need you to pay off this debt. It's still going to take a couple of years to pay it off if you go no fun spending, no nothing. Mm-hmm. So this is a very dire situation. I wish I could give you more of a plan, but the plan all comes down to what do you decide to do? Mm-hmm. I don't know what income is going to be coming in from this other job. I don't. That's up to you. Right. I don't know if you're going to sell the house. It's up to you and apparently your girlfriend. I I don't know. Yeah. So some of what my thoughts are, um, or at least my intention to move forward for myself and my business and um, is going insanely hard, especially on on the business, considering these these debts and what it takes to survive and then work on a, on a, um, safety fund, Mm -hmm. what that number would need to look like. So then I can focus on getting my business to that across the next, you know, four to $42,000 for the year. $42,000 as quick as possible. $42,000 gets you out of all your bad debt and it gets you a six month emergency fund. 
Okay. So it's not an hour, a certain hour a week. It's however you get to $42,000 post taxes as quick as you can. You get that, you are out of the bad interest and you are, you have a six month emergency fund of like $12,000. Okay. So at 42 a month is, or 42 for the year is how much a month? Uh, post taxes remember. is 3,500. Okay. So as soon as I can reliably hit that number monthly, how long is the plan that you're just mentioning to the I mean, out that's of debt? Year. That's one year. Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, I think I just, uh, because you divided it by 12 and that's the number you need post taxes. So you need to make like 55, $60,000 a year. Okay. It's hard, man. Well, actually, no, that's how much you need saved up. So you need to add 2000 hours a month on top of that. Oh. So what did we just say? Uh, 42 after tax. So post taxes, you need to make $66,000 a year. So you probably need to make $85,000. If you want to do it in a year, you can do this in two years for like $45,000 a year. But yeah. <clears throat> then the reason I that's ask, bare bones, that's no eating out, not doing a single thing. Yeah. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with, especially like, cause like I said, my girlfriend does pay up so, most of the time when we go out, not always, obviously, right? Like we saw in the, in the statement, um, some of that's probably ego, like trying to not look cool, but feeling bad. I you're not you. paying. No, I don't. Um, but as long as you have the open, honest communication, I'm certainly yeah. not a relationship expert. Trust me. Hinge premium plus extra extreme is not going very well for me. Get a couple matches. And then the conversation dies after like two messages. So I can't speak their, on relationship. Their loss. But, well, thank you. Thank you. But. Uh, but I'm, wow. I'm, I care so much. I'm so passionate about this mission that I'm on, which isn't necessarily detailing, but it is to be able to have those abilities. Like I said, to Why be able build to, a business that you're not passionate on. Well, cause I do care about it and it's, it was low, low enough barrier of entry to get started and I hadn't started. So it was like, this is low enough barrier of entry. And now though financially, uh, not the best time. Um, but at, at the moment I was so fed up with all the other things that I had been doing in life. Um, that, the culmination of those things and, and, um, some more like awareness of, of self, um, pushed me in, into getting into it. And I, I love, I'm truly passionate about doing business mm -hmm. and figuring it out. And so I, again, all I care about right now, you just need to get out of this debt, man. Yeah. And you need to work your ass off to get there. I'm sorry. Yep. I wish it was a more uplifting message. Well, the uplifting part of it is, yes, once you get out of the debt, you have a fully funded emergency fund. Yeah, you have more opportunity to take risk and go into these plunges of businesses and stuff like that. I love that. You jumped the gun a little early. We should have taken care of one thing by, you know, one thing at a time mm -hmm. to get yourself in a position where you could actually focus on this business. Because right now your risk level is at like a thousand percent, you know, yeah. it's a full red flags being waves everywhere. So now we just need to make up for what we lost. And that is you need to just work yourself every single week and probably never even see your girlfriend because you're going to be working or sleeping, working or sleeping uh, to pay off the debt and then have a fully funded emergency fund. But I mean, yeah. that's really the next steps. Yep. I wish I could give you a more laid out plan. This is not a thing. We have the number that's necessary, but yeah. And yeah, so I understand my situation is, is, is pretty bad, especially just in with what I'm doing, what my finances look like and, and what the debts look like. Um, and that's really, really what I was looking for, especially coming to do this is, yeah. is what's, what's the target? Because I, I can recognize that how, how bad the situation is. Like I recognize that. So it's like, I just need some clarity. Um, and I'll be honest, I was never going to sit down and go through my finances the way really? that, that you can. Well, that's not um, good. That's not indicating any, that makes me nervous for you creating and managing a budget to be completely honest. But, but no, I now, now, like, like I wasn't going to take that first step on, on my own, but it's a step that I wanted to. And that's why, why I wanted to come participate in this, in this series. Um, cause I, I had a lot of faith in the, in, in you and what you could do to at least give me that. I know it's not the, um, maybe the typical, like, okay, you make this much a year, you do this, you save this much, this much goes here, you pay off the car in this many months, then you dump that into this. Um, well, that's just not the nature yeah. of my situation. You but. have your target. Now the path to take there, again, you could wipe it out immediately the house, but again, the path is your choice. So whatever you choose to do, it's what you do. And then we'll follow up in the future. Mm -hmm. We'll see what progress and, hopefully only progress you've made on it, but 
So let what, me see. What comes next is up to you, man. Yeah. So for me, I can see, foresee, because I've, I've already going into it, just going super hard on this business and trying to, to make the money to survive. And now we have that target. Um, what, what kind of, I guess, what payment plan, not payment plan, but what plan around paying, paying these the down debt. when I, when I, yeah, paying off the debt Free. as I make the money, where do I put my focus first? If you're more disciplined, I would do some consolidation, but we're not going to do that. So what I would do is the Amazon card, then the new send, uh, and, uh, done the, is it kind of just as a, the percentage wise no, or are you doing like avalanche. small to big? You're going to do small to biggest. So whatever yeah. your smallest, because your minimum monthly payments are also killing you for your lack of income. So you need to pay off the smallest to largest as possible. Okay. Again, if it was a different income, maybe we could attack it in the avalanche, find that uh, snowball. You're going to see the most progress that way in terms of you seeing the actual numbers and you're going to get incentivized to fully attack them mm -hmm. as hard as you do. But yeah, snowball. Okay. You have any final thoughts? Um, no, I, well, I guess just also concerning. So we're going to do snowball on everything that has interest and then just keep making the minimum on the well, zero, the zero. Yep. You're doing the 88 until that's paid off. And then for the 6%, 6,075, I wouldn't include that in the snowball. I would wait until that's the last step and pay that off Then mortgage. If you still have it, minimum monthly payment until it's done. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm excited. Like I said, that was, I'm really, really glad and happy where we got to. Cause that was, that was kind of like my idea. Um, cause I know my situation is so unstable and there's so much risk also involved. Um, and the, the debt is crazy. Um, and that's really the only way I could see working out of my situation is figuring out what I need to hit to, in a, in an annual basis to be able to survive and, and actually pay these things down. Um, so I have a target to aim at cause I can't, because of where, where I am, I can't shoot it. Like, well, over, I guess what I'm saying is like, I don't know. I guess I, I mostly lost that thought. Um, <laughs> you're good, man, but you, no, gotta, so, you just got to work. Your yeah. And I, I 100, like I said, I'm, I'm truly, truly passionate about doing business and figuring out how mm -hmm. to get where I need to go. And I, yeah. one thing that I've been realizing is, is I just need more clarity around mm -hmm. things. Um, and that was really, really my main I guess, objective of, of our time together. Um, like if you, if you do these things, this is where you'll be. Um, and I appreciate it. And I know it's, it's, it's a weird situation maybe compared to some other people's situations. Um, but I'm going to take this, this advice and now I have my, my minimum target and then just build on top of that as well. Um, over time and I really, really look forward to, to following up and beautiful. Let's do it. Make some progress. Seeing what we can do. For Santi, I'm quite scared, to be completely honest. It's a terrifying situation, but hopefully he figures that out and creates a good income path to get out of the situation. If we're spending it in a budget, it's gonna be a one out of ten. It wasn't the worst we've ever seen, but it really wasn't good. Pretty much going out every day. If you consider the taquitos, the debt, that's some of the worst credit card debt, especially the income I've ever seen. Zero out of ten. Emergency fund, nothing zero out of ten. He does have a he does have a house, so we get to give him a real estate score, but I'm only gonna give it a three out of ten because still the down payment is completely financed. But he has built equity into the home and he does own the home. So hammer financial score, right? now one out of ten check out all the resources linked in the description below they're what i use or would use in specific situations if you want to be in an episode of financial audit and you're able to make it down to austin texas fill out the survey in the description below